ladies and gentlemen it is that time of the week again we have a new edition our fourth edition of the moeto times and we have some changes coming to the texas chainsaw massacre game i couldn't be more excited because we have some good ones and again they break this down into three subjects they have fits in testing under investigation and needs more info in this video we're going to be diving in to see some future changes coming to the texas chainsaw massacre so make sure to subscribe with notifications set to all so you don't miss out on future tcm content listen we have a ton of gameplay coming i apologize about the lack on videos it, it's it's coming i promise you subscribe like all that good stuff join sasha game listen let's talk about these changes the first one and arguably the biggest one is stun immunity is coming to the family now if you've been living under a rock leatherface has been getting his face absolutely bashed in through doors, Leland's shoulders, or bone scraps to the back of the neck. It's been it's been a tough one out there for our Bubba Means, and it uh, looks like we're gonna finally have an answer to that. Ideally, we need more information on exactly what they mean here, but I believe by stun immunity period for family, it means some sort of cooldown on stuns. Maybe if you get stabbed by a bone scrap, you have to wait another 30 seconds before Leland's able to shoulder him, or you have to wait another 30 seconds before a door is able to stun him. I, I don't know how that's going to work out but that's the idea that i think that they're going with which is huge and obviously very 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 needed if you don't know there's like i mean there's players out there that can keep leatherface stuck in a doorway for like 10 10 minutes at this point and there's perks that go along with it that make it even worse so ideally a stun cooldown is the right way to go and i'm really happy that they are making these efforts and listening to the community listen like you can say what you want about the game but they are pumping out patches with some changes and they are communicating, which is all I will ever ask for. Just tell me that you're working on things and let me know that we're not left in the dark. That's all I want. Uh, the next on this list is Hitchhiker's Traps. This has been on here a few times now. Obviously, there's that trap where if you step on his trap while getting off a ladder, you can't go through crawl spaces. This seems to uh, this this bug seems harder to fix, it seems. Uh, cause it's been on this list a few times. We have the agitator perk values changing as well, which leads us to under investigation. Under investigation, we have perk balancing. There's a lot of different perks out there that can change and adjust, uh, which is nice to hear that that is coming. Let me know down below if there's any perks that you think absolutely needs to be looked at by gun. A uh, few come to mind. Next is another huge one is the gas station map improvements. Now this doesn't straight out say they're gonna fix the cheese door or the gas station side door, whatever you wanna call it obviously that door needs to be looked at it completely just it ruins the whole generator side of the map there's not a single player out there who's going to pick the generator door and then kick the generator to turn it off to escape when they have that side door there i mean the simple answer that comes to mind is just electrifying it i don't know how that works because johnny spawns outside so maybe they have to change johnny's spawn or something Getting rid of the door entirely is a possible answer. I'm not sure. Maybe may, maybe get rid of the crawl space that's on the side of the door and lock both doors. We'll have to see what comes to the gas station. Obviously, these are huge. Listen, the stun, the stuns and the gas station are two big ones. I'm really excited to see. Next, we have stealth balancing. This is another one that they're constantly looking at. You can tell that Gun is taking a very measured approach to these things, finally tuning them rather than just jumping to a full-on nerf or a full-on buff which I think is the right way to go as long as they keep up with the communication and these weekly patches. I think that's a good path to go down and it's exactly what the game needs. But now we have our need more info category. Let's see what we got. We have mini game issues with lock picking. I've heard of some lock picking issues and buds happening just through the Discord and Reddit. This personally hasn't happened to me, not at least that I can think of. And then next one we have locked out of interactions. I'm trying to think. I don't think that has affected me either, so I'm not too sure what they mean by that. These are some big ones. These are some good changes. I like to see it. I want to know down below, are there, again, if there's any changes that should have been on here that's not. Are there any changes that are on here um, that you're happy with, not happy with? Let's talk about it in the comments down below as a family, okay? Family is huge in TCM, and we're a family, all right? Let's talk down below. What do you want to see from the game? What are you liking? Let's do it. Uh, listen, that's all I got for you guys. Slash the like button. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, Make sure to join Slasher Gang, loads a dollar per month. But remember, don't do drugs, don't have sex, and oh yeah, don't die. Got darker days in this grind, yeah. Never pay no mind to what I hate to say. Criticize myself more than anybody anyway. Living dreams, but these nightmares keeping me awake. Demons whisper in the dark, telling me it's a mistake. To have faith in my own grind. But I 
I got power over my own mind. I feel like, feel like, feel like, feel like, feel like Dr. Strange, 